Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve a two-step inequality. Now, when we solve two-step inequalities, we want to isolate the variable, get it by itself on one side of the inequality. We do that by using inverse operations. So this is very similar to solving two-step equations. If you can solve equations, you can solve inequalities. One thing we need to be aware of though, when it comes to inequalities, remember, we flip the inequality symbol when multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative. Let's jump into our example where we have 7x minus 3 is greater than 18. Now here, just like with a two-step equation, we want to undo the subtraction first. We go in the reverse order of operations to undo the operations and isolate the variable. So we need to undo the subtraction first and then the multiplication here. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition, so add three to the left side of the inequality. Whatever we do to one side, of an inequality we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced. So add three to the right side as well. Now, as far as the left side, these threes cancel each other out. So we have seven X is greater than, and then on the right side, 18 plus three gives us 21. So now we have 7x is greater than 21. 7 times x is greater than 21. So now we need to undo that multiplication using the inverse operation. That's division. So let's divide the left side by 7. That means we need to divide the right side by 7 as well. Now on the left side, these 7s cancel each other out. x is now isolated. So we have x is greater than, and then on the right side, 21 divided by seven gives us three. So we get X is greater than three, and that's our answer. So X can be any value greater than three. And lastly, let's check a value that's greater than three to make sure it works and we are correct. Let's use five. So seven times plug in five for x minus three is greater than 18. Seven times five gives us 35, and then 35 minus three gives us 32. 32 is greater than 18, so that does work. We are correct here. Again, our answer, x is greater than three. So there you have it. There's how to solve a two-step inequality. Now that was just one example. I have a link to another example down in the description. And in that example, we need to flip the inequality symbol. Or if you want a few more examples, I have a longer video in the description as well. So use whatever works best for you. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Peace.